Okay, yesterday we made this foldable on absolute value. And if you remember absolute value, we made this arrow to show that it's always positive, right? And inside we have some notes. The absolute value of a number is its distance from what number? Zero. 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 So an absolute value is always positive. So think back to when we were playing the integer game. If you ended up with a negative one and everybody else in the game had two or three, even though it was a negative one and a smaller number, you were closer to zero and won the game, right? That whole idea of just distance from zero is what we're looking at here. So today we're going to do some practice problems, and I'd like you to open your book to page 74. We're going to do the practice problems on page 6 in your spiral. So open the math book to page 74. I'm going to do a few practice problems with you guys so you know how to do these. Um, it would be nice if with your spiral you have it open flat like this. Let me zoom out so we can see it really well. Because we're going to be using the number lines today and this might be a good day for you to have this folded open. Either the one across the top or the one across the side, down the side. In order for you to see on the camera though, I'm going to zoom in so you won't see my number line. Okay, but you can see yours. Okay, so we're on page 74 in the book. Look at what number one says. It says graph each integer and its opposite on a number line. Take a look at your number line. If the integer we're graphing is number two, here's how we're gonna graph it, really, really simply. We're gonna start with zero in the middle. Two would be here. And negative two would be the same distance away from zero. Uh, wait, I'm still way behind because Let's try that again with number two. It says to graph the number negative nine and its opposite. So we're gonna do zero here. Notice I'm showing negative nine is further away from zero. We don't have to make every single dash. We're just showing that this is here and nine, its opposite, is the same distance from zero on the other side. Do you guys see how simple that is? I don't want you to sit here and have to try to do one, two, three, four. That would take forever. Okay, we're just showing that we can tell that these, their opposites are the same distance away. Let's skip down and look at number five now. Five is comparing two numbers, and we've done some problems like this with our entry tasks already. We're comparing five and negative five. Which of those two numbers is smaller? The negative five. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show that 5 is greater than negative 5. If you look at number 6, it's showing two negative numbers, negative 9 and negative 18. When you look at these two, because they're both negatives, we need to think which of these two numbers is further away from 0. Mm -hmm. And if you even look at this big number line over here, you can see where negative 9 is and negative 18 is even further down below. The further away it is from 0 on the negative side, the smaller it is. Now we're going to skip down to number 9. And First thing I want you to do when you see problems like this is write all the numbers just as they are in the book. It says 6, negative 3, negative 1, negative 5, and 4. The directions say use a number line to order the integers from least to greatest. Does it say you have to draw a number line? No. It just says use a number line. And where do you guys have a number line? It's right there on the top of your notebook. So you can just look at it to help you make sure you're putting them in order. Of these numbers, which is the smallest? Negative five. Negative five is the smallest. And when I do these, I cross them out to make sure I show that I've used that number. Which is the next one? Negative three. Yep, we're getting closer to zero as we go up from the negatives, right? 
And then we have negative one. Negative one. And then positive four. And what's the biggest number here? Six. Six. So you're just going to have a couple of problems where you're practicing putting them in order from least to what? Greatest. To greatest. It says use a number line, but you have to draw it. We're literally just using it. You can take a peek at it and help you. And now related to yesterday, the last few problems you're going to do are asking for negative or, or absolute values. And I have the absolute value here of negative 2. Remember, absolute value, these lines are showing distance from 0. How far from 0 is negative 2? Two? Two. two places. So this just equals 2. Yeah, it's just a distance from zero. It, we're not talking about what's greater or least or anything. We're just talking about how far away from zero. Both the absolute value of two and the absolute value of negative two are both two places from zero, so they're both equal to zero. So I'm going to let you guys do some independent practice now. And on the same page, page 74, right here in your spiral notebook on the same page, I want you guys to do problems 16 through 30. Problems 16 to 30. 